Hello, so this video is for all you pullers out there who just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and hopefully this exercise can help to bring some push into your playing. So when I say pull and push I refer to pull as mouth dominant playing and push as body dominant playing and um, deeper this theory is explained in my video about push and pull playing. And since I have some students that are strongly pullers, this is for them. And they have usually, not just my students, but people who I meet, um, who are very pull dominant, usually have this characteristic that on one breath, uh, there is a series of mouth decorations and the air is spent very, very gradually. And then after 10, 15 seconds, there is another breath. And this playing can have some advantages at some moments if you're aiming for a certain sound, but also it has many disadvantages. So it's good to use it sometimes, but not that you can play only like that. Because when you play only like that, you're not using your body's elasticity, you're not feeding your body with air often enough, you're not feeding your sounds with air, and your sound generally misses some volume usually. So this is an example of that way of playing. Uh, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit here, but not too much. That's pretty much the way it is. Um, so I feel the best way, way to, deal, to deal with this condition is to just go and do something opposite. And the opposite would be to breathe very, very often and do very little with your mouth. And the way to do it is to take metronome. And this way we'll take an app. We'll take a nap. And uh, we'll put it to 60 BPM. And on each beat we have to make drone and then breathe after it. You can also add your voice. I usually add my voice in uh, this kind of exercising because just it feels more comfortable, but you don't have to. Okay. And if you can't do circular breathing, then just separate those beats to stop, inhale, then again, stop, inhale. If you can do circular breathing, you can connect those sounds into continuous uh, droning. So this is how it goes. So first I was showing the way you would play it if you can do circular breathing and the next uh, series was uh, if you can do circular breathing. Um, I hope 60 is comfortable for you because if you go slower you can, um, but it will be more difficult to be in time with the metronome. However, you don't have to be very accurate here with the metronome. The metronome is just a reminder like breathe approximately now or now, now is a good time to breathe. You don't have to be very tight. So if you put 45 or 40 BPM, it will be probably a bit more difficult to follow. But as long as you're somewhere there with the breaths, I would say it's fine. Because at the moment, what we're doing is just we're teaching our body that breathing often is fine. And if, you, if you're playing at 60 BPM, this means that you're breathing once every second. And you can work your way up to, for example, 120 BPM. That's already a nice number for breathing. So this means two times in a second. So why 
was emphasizing breathing a little bit here so that it's a bit louder so that you can hear it so I sometimes have to breathe out through my nose to balance it out normally I don't do it like that uh, but if it happens that you have too much breath which probably it won't um, then just expel it uh, through air in the moment where you would inhale just exhale through nose um, so I hope this helps if you want more you can play higher um, BPM and teach your body to uh, breathe even more but I would say already uh, 120 is a good number okay um, thank you for attention and um, hope this helps your extreme pulling to become a little bit more balanced with push thanks for watching and if you like the video you can like it and if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and whether you like it or not you have to spiral out and for those who want much more you can go and uh, put the maximum number 300 so the the app tells you you need a pro version to go beyond and you try to just survive in these conditions